get that supported on there. And you're on your high number there. Mm -hmm. Tighten it here, brings the needle up. So now we're down to one thou run out, well, two thousands, so a thou aside run out, which mm -hmm. we get a lot closer than that. Make that needle stop moving. There's a quarter thou or less run out right there. So we're concentric to the outside of the barrel. We're going to run approximately 550 thou of thread, between 550 and 600 thou of thread. This particular breaks a slim line, one half by 28 TPI. So a uh, very common muzzle brake thread. And the barrel right now is sitting at a 620 thou diameter, roughly. And we'll uh, turn it down to 500 and thread this thing. So we're roughly at the 500 mark here right now. Where's some of this swerf piles up? Switch out cutters, square the edge off, and we'll uh, get ready to thread. All right, so we're all ready to thread now. I've cut a small recess for the threads to stop in. We've got our break, half 28. Check that as our progress goes. Now we're starting to be nice and tight threads. So we're good that way. Now on stainless, I like to make sure to polish them off good so you don't have too many sharp edges. The stainless is prone to galling and uh, if your brake gets a little bit oxidized on there, it, uh, it can pick up and stick. And I've got a thread file here, which is just to clean up the threads, give a nice finish after. So now we've got a nice clean thread. Okay, so now we're going to contour it to match the profile of the barrel. So I changed my uh, lead angle to uh, 13 degrees. Just seems to be the happy medium we like for the, just enough taper, but nothing too long, nothing too short. Nice polished edge, so we'll match that up and we'll uh, see how the finished product looks. So once I've cut my taper, I like to trim the brake to just a nice, make sure it's all concentric to the inside of the bore and everything. So I'll just run this. Cleanup cut. Okay, and that's basically a break roughed on and ready to go. Next step, 
You gotta drill your pilots out, make sure you drill the right size hole for the actual caliber. You don't wanna forget that. Bullets don't like to squeeze through holes. So we'll pull this apart and we'll uh, just switch lathes and just do it on the smaller lathes. So now on the little lathe here, we're gonna run the pilot hole size. We're putting a caliber, we've got a 308 caliber or a 30 cal. And I've got a drill here that's 30 thousandths overbore size. You'll see people go from 20 to 30 thou overbore and that works good. You don't want the hole too big or it becomes less effective. Too small, um, you know, you have the risk of running corrosion and, and debris on the leading edges, maybe interfering with the bullet's travel. Uh, just kind of the factory standard, 20 to 30 thou overbore. So we've got a 308 and this cutter is basically roughly 338 uh, to 340 when we bore this hole, okay? Make sure you drill all the way through the break. Don't forget a section. We'll take that out. And then I like to just run a center drill here, just to make a nice clean chamfer on the face of the break. Then I got a nice clean chamfer. And then I'm gonna just chamfer the edge of the brake as well with this radius cutter. So now we have a brake with the proper size pilot through it for a 30 cal. And nice little brake on both edges so they're nice and soft and they're not gonna cut or feel rough. And now I'm gonna chuck this up on a mandrel and I'll finish the rest of this by hand. So now we chuck it up on a small spinning device here, and that's the way we can polish that break up nice, do this edge, and make it look beautiful. So now I've got a nice polished surface. My holes are all uniform, no burrs or slag in them. And then I just gotta cut this taper now. So now I have a nice clean line coming off my taper and then a nice flat edge across the break. Now this would be ready for Teflon or powder coat or sandblasting. All these muzzle brakes that are made are made out of stainless. We will color them to suit or finish them to match whatever firearm they're going on to. So what if I don't at any point I want to take my muzzle brake off, then what? Then all you do is remove it like any other threaded object. Uh, we provide a muzzle brake wrench which goes through two sets of the holes so you have a nice clean edge. Pop your brake loose, remove it. We can provide a cap for your muzzle brake if there are situations where some guide outfitters don't like muzzle brakes if they're really close to you. So they'll ask you to bring a muzzle brake cap and shoot your gun without a muzzle brake just for their own hearing so they can communicate better with you. Because um, they're a little bit loud for a guy standing next to you. Right, so basically a thread protector. Thread protector. You want to protect your threads because if you go drag those all up and down off the floorboards of the truck, you might damage an edge. And then when you go to put your brake back on, it won't go on smoothly. I've never bounced a, a barrel off the rocks. <laughs> never once. And that's this is a typical example of a muzzle brake cap, which is just a threaded protector. It's the same dimensions as the barrel, so you just thread that on, and then you're then you're safe. We're just going to sandblast this muzzle brake in this small cabinet style blaster. It's got a, an actual glass bead. This particular brake has got to match up to a Tika finish, so they're a, they're a glass beaded finish. So we're going to do that, and then I'll show you the completed barrel and how uh, nicely these flow together. So now, as you can see, we've got a perfectly matching brake that uh, goes right on that Tika. Ready go. to be shot and proved in. That's absolutely beautiful in stainless, but it can also be refinished in anything now. Yeah, this, this particular barrel is going to be going in for powder coat, so this is all going to be turned black anyway, but I wanted to check my edges and make sure everything is perfect before I go and finish it.
That's all there is to putting on a muzzle brake. In a nutshell, you betcha. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Okay.